Hey everyone, Safarisha here and today I have 5 creative art ideas which will hopefully inspire you to get creative as well. You can use all these ideas for in your sketchbook but also for bigger art projects or postcards or gifts or just because you want to do something fun and creative. All the materials I use are listed in the description box so be sure to check it out. Let's start with the first creative idea, which is a paper doll. All you need is some nice papers with fun designs, scissors and some drawing supplies and of course some glue. I start out with drawing the shape of the character very roughly on the paper I want to use and I start to cut it out. Next I will give this lady some clothes, very important. Trace the doll on the paper you want to use and be sure to flip the doll and draw on the back of the paper. This way you won't see the pencil sketch on the good side of the paper. I give her a nice t-shirt and a nice skirt out of the craft paper with heads, which I think is very cool. Use colors and papers which go well together. And now I will finish the doll by giving her shoes, hair and a face. And now you're finished! You made yourself a little cute paper doll. So let's move on to the next creative idea, which is a galaxy animal painting. And who doesn't love animals and galaxies? Anyways, these paintings are always fun to make. All you need are some watercolors and some black ink. Normally you will see these drawings on the internet of cats and wolves, but the alpaca lover I am, I'm going to create an alpaca. You can look online for references of animals and trace the outline of the animal. I'm going to paint a nice galaxy in the alpaca and I use my Equaline watercolors to create the galaxy. I lightly mix the colors together and don't think too much while doing this, just have fun. Next up I will paint some trees in the alpaca with the black ink and this way you are creating two images in one drawing. Isn't that cool? And I finish up the drawing by adding some white dots for stars and this really gives it a galaxy feel. And you are done! This is how easy it is to create a galaxy animal painting. And for the third idea, we are going to use some washi tape. Washi tape art is always super cool and I really find it relaxing to do and I think it's very easy to work with. All you need is of course some washi tape and a very sharp knife and be careful with knives. And for this drawing I already prepared a sketch of a very happy girl and I'll give her a pink outline. Next I will take my washi tape, which comes from Japan by the way, and I decided to stick the washi tape on her top. I am carefully cutting away the rest of the washi tape so only the tape will be on her top. And don't press too hard with a knife because you don't want to cut through the paper, only the washi tape. And I am very fortunate that this washi tape is pretty see-through so the cutting is pretty easy. Thank you. 
And now I will use some Copic markers to color in her pants and then I decided to add a little more washi tape on her pants as well. Just an extra detail. To give the drawing some more contrast, I decided to add some bright yellow washi tape on the background as well. This will make the character stand out more and makes the drawing more interesting. And finally, I will give her some more color and will add some details on her hair as well, with the pink pen I was using in the beginning of this video. This is just a very, very simple washi tape drawing. You can make it as detailed and complicated as you want. I just wanted to show you a simple example of what you can do with washi tape. And now this drawing is finished as well. For the fourth idea, we are going to use some paints. I'll be using gouache for this painting. I'm going to draw a nice plant and after that I will randomly draw lines over the drawing to create a mosaic pattern. I will color in each piece a different color or tint to make it stand out. Again, please be creative, you can also draw your cat or your dog or of course your favorite K-pop star. Next, I'm going to fill the rest of the spaces with color and finish the drawing. have made a very nice mosaic drawing. And the final idea I have for you is to make a small simple art collection with bold colors. I use four small pieces of paper and three bright colors with lots of contrast. I use Posca markers for this because they are so easy to use and they come in very bright colors. I just started doodling on the paper, but you can sketch out your idea first in your sketchbook and decide which colors you will use and how you will use them. Or you just start doodling like I did. <laughs> you can write inspirational text on them, create different patterns, etc. Keep it simple and fun. You could make these small cards inspired by a theme such as Valentine's Day, Halloween, summer, plants, cats, etc. You decide. I just made four very random cards, but I think they came out really cute and fit well together as a small collection. So these were five creative ideas which hopefully inspired you to get creative. Leave a like if you liked this video and subscribe for more art. That's it for today and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye bye!